Members, this is with uh, great reluctance that I um, rise against a bill that I voted for in committee. One of the things I pride myself on is being consistent. But one of the challenges for me today is whether or not I can sit by and allow the process to be manipulated in a manner that's not in the best interest of the state of Texas. In committee, I objected to the consideration of this bill because I thought that bond in future legislatures was a problem. Many times we have bills before us, and but very rarely do we have bills where we bind future legislatures and push bills off to 2021. And I've gotten a couple of AG opinions where they've said we should not bind future legislatures. I raised that point in the, commi in the committee, and when the chairman brought it up, I voted for it, thinking, well, maybe we'll look at this. But having been here a while, I know for sure the rules that I learned said that you shouldn't bind future legislators. legislatures. So that troubles me. Then the second thing I want to tell you is when I get here, and I know that we all have legislative initiatives and commitments to what we're about, but when I find that there's no serious intent to really reduce uh, property taxes and come up with a real scheme for us to look at how to raise the revenue necessary to fund our state. We currently have a budget deficit where we funded our schools at 2011 levels. We didn't do um, TRS. We, we left a lot of things unfunded. But I was willing for us to look at ways to come up with monies to fund our state. When the franchise tax was put in place, the comptroller told us then it would never perform at the rate, rate we wanted it to perform. There was always a deficit. And we always heard from my constituents that the property tax relief that we thought we were providing, they never really realized it. So in earnest, this would be an attempt for us to be a little more transparent about how we're going to get there. But members, that's not what we're doing here. That's not what this bill is about at all. This bill is about how do we mess with each other? How do we take good policy and throw it after bad policy with no intent, with no intent? to see it fully realized. That's my frustration today. One of the things that I've known about this process is everybody has a right to play and be and vote any way they want to. And it's up to us to decide if we can look ourselves in the mirror. But when the process starts manipulating members, and I know everybody is tired, I'm tired, my voice is going away. I know everybody feels like they don't have to listen to this, and you don't. But at some point, you'll see it again. And so we need to be very careful of this process that allow a few members to figure out how to play games with legislation at the expense of those of us on the floor trying to make the state better trying to provide real legislation for relief for our constituents while others are playing games. And we have had to back and forward with um, the Senate and the House as long as I've been here. But never before have I been aware that members are being pawns in this game. And for those of us in the minority, that's really not the way we ought to be governing our state. That's really not the way we ought to be treating the colleagues who come with the expectation that we're going to do something bigger and better for Texas. And for our leadership to participate in that is disingenuous and is very disrespectful. Now, I've been told, I've been told that that's not what we're doing. And I'm gonna accept that that's what they think we're supposed to believe. But when I hear colleagues saying 
that the budget person, the speaker, the other members on the floor all are aware when our chairman of appropriations is not surprised by it. It troubles me. It troubles me that that would be the basis of how we're going to look at an issue as serious as franchise taxes, as serious as the deficit in our budget to do the things we ought to do. So it is with great reluctance that I mentioned that we ought, to be, we ought to be committed to what we come here to do. And if this is the best you can do, if this is your best, to throw a bill out here to fight with the Senate at the expense of us trying to make some real political decisions on how do we make our state better, then so be it. But I would tell you we ought to take legislation much serious than that much more serious. We ought to take our colleagues' time and effort to come up with strategies so we can get the best out of it so everybody wins. That's what we ought to be doing. And so this bill, as big as it is, and as important as it is to our funding and to the programs that make our state great, we're going to be this callous about it. So that I ask you, members, to just consider, just consider for a moment if we put our real efforts toward making a difference and try to improve this state. So I'm going to ask you to vote no on this bill. And the reason I'm asking you to vote no on the bill, because this is not our best, it wasn't designed to be our best. It was designed to be a ploy to fight with the Senate. And that's what we're going to be doing. That's what this bill is about. And I want you to understand that if you're okay using these important issues like this, that's fine. Then that's so be it. But if your intent is to really do good things and where there are real differences and we want to make a change so that we can get something done for Texas, this is not the vehicle. And I'd encourage you to look at it and vote no on this bill. Thank you, members.